Croeso i Brifysgol Glindwr Rexam ac i Seremoni Radio y Brifysgol. Y trydedd o chwe seremoni yw chynnal dros dri diwrnod. Welcome to Wrexham Glyndwr University and to the university's graduation ceremony, the third of six ceremonies to be held over three days. Y mae dwy ran i'r ceremony sy'n cael ei alw yn gynulliad y brifysgol. Yn rhan gyntaf y cynulliad, byddwn yn derbyn yn gymrawd anrhydeddus, unigolyn a ystyrir yn deilwng o'r anrhydedd yma. Yn ail rhan y ceremony byddwn yn cyflwyno tystysgrifau, diplomau a graddau. There are two parts to the ceremony, known as a congregation of the university. In the first part, we will receive, as an honorary fellow, an individual who has been judged worthy of this honour. In the second part of the ceremony, we will be presenting certificates, diplomas and degrees. Mae nawr yn rhoi pleser mawr i mi wahodd Dr Lee Griffin, cadeirydd bwrdd y llywodraethwyr i agor y seremoni y bore yma. It gives me great pleasure to invite Dr Lee Griffin, Chair of the Board of Governors of Glyndwr University, to open the ceremony. Gwestiwn, bonetheigion, a boned i gesoi. Gwede digion. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduands. For many of you, today's ceremony is the official end of your studies at Wrexham Glyndwr University. And it is marked by these formal proceedings, which are also known as a congregation. The reason for this congregation is so that degrees can be conferred, honorary fellowships awarded, and other business which concerns this university can be transacted. And so by the authority given to me by the university, it gives me great pleasure to open this congregation at Wrexham Glyndwr University and the University of Chester, and to ask that the university proclamation be read. Hyder trwy addysg, byddai'r hysbys i aelodau o'r brifysgol ac i bawb sydd yn bresennol. Y cynhelu'r heddiw ar y dyddiad hwn, dydd iau, y trydydd o dachwedd 2022, yn ninas Rexam. Gynulliad awdurdodedig o brifysgol glyndwr Rexam a phrifysgol Cair i dderbyn yn gymrawd anrhydeddus, unigolyn teilwng, sydd trwy eu gweithredoedd wedi profi eu hunan yn deilwng o barch yn y gymdeithas academaidd. Derbynu ryw gwobrau hefyd, unigolion sydd trwy efrydiaeth yn y brifysgol a thrwy ddisg, medr a dyfol barhad, wedi teilyngu'r cyfriw raddau yn unol ag ordeiniadau'r brifysgol. Gyda phob gweddi a dymuniad, ar iddynt fwynhau iechyd a hi'r hoedl i wasanaethu eu hoes a'u cenedl dan fendith yn ef. Yna, dy oleini a gyfyd mewn tywyllwch, a dywyllwch a fydd fel hanner dydd. A rhai a fyddant ohono ti a adeiladant yr hen ddiffeith leoedd. Y mae digonedd o air ac o emau. 
ond geiriau deallus yw'r trysor gwerth fawr ocaf. Hyder trwy addysg. Confidence through education. Be it known to members of the university and to all here present that authorised congregations of Wrexham Glyndwr University and the University of Chester are being held here in the city of Wrexham. This day, Thursday, 3rd of November 2022, to receive as an honorary fellow a worthy person who through her actions and deeds has shown herself to be worthy of the respect of the academic community. In addition, those who have, through study at the university and through learning, ability and perseverance, been deemed worthy of university awards in accordance with the ordinances of the university, will be admitted to their appropriate degrees in the hope that they may be given long life and health to serve their generation and their country under the blessing of heaven. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noonday and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. My Owen Glyndwr wedi ein hysbrydoli ni dros y canrifoedd. Traroedd Shakespeare yn disgrifio'r dyn Roedd y bardd Cymraeg iolog och yn disgrifio ei lys. Gorau Cymro, tro trylew bi ar wlad. Lyn bywer lew, gŵr mein gryf. Gorau mangre a phi a'r llys. Hoff yw'r lle. The spirit of Glyndwr has inspired generations. The Welsh poet Yolo Goch described his court while Shakespeare spoke of the man. He is a worthy gentleman, exceedingly well read and profited in strange concealments, valiant as a lion and wondrous affable and as bountiful as mines of India. Well, my nawr and blesser, geni alw ar Dr. Christine O'Grady i gyflwyno Helen Coleman am Gymrodoriaeth Anrhydeddus. It now gives me pleasure to call upon Dr. Christine O'Grady to present Helen Coleman for an honorary fellowship. It is my great pleasure to present Helen Coleman for the award of honorary fellowship. Helen Coleman is a registered nurse with a career spanning more than 40 years. Her early career saw her working as a critical care nurse at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham, and Harefield Hospital, where she nursed some of the first cardiac transplant patients. After moving to Shropshire, Helen went on to lead a team of staff to set up and establish the intensive care unit at the Princess Royal Hospital, Telford. She went on to hold a number of senior leadership and management roles, including clinical nurse manager, matron, divisional lead nurse, and head of nursing. 
In 2015, Helen was recognised nationally by the Royal Co College of Nursing and England's Chief Nursing Officer for her work in improving the hospital environment for patients with dementia and their carers. Throughout her career, Helen has been passionate and actively involved in promoting learning and education. In her current role as lead nurse for education and quality at Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital, she works in collaboration with university partners to promote the quality of undergraduate nurse education, striving to improve and enhance the learning environment for students working in clinical practice. Helen is being honoured for her services to nursing education. Vice-Chancellor, I present to you Helen Coleman for the sake of honour, Fellow of Glinda University. piece of paper. <laughs> so good morning Borada. Firstly can I thank the Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor and the Board of Governors for awarding me this honorary fellowship of which I was immensely surprised to receive but one which I'm truly delighted and honoured to accept. I'm particularly thrilled to be receiving this from this brilliant university who seeks to inspire and enable students to achieve their dreams and aspirations. I have experienced firsthand these values through my close links for many years with colleagues in the nursing department here at the university, who I admire and respect, and with whom I've worked to improve and develop pre-registration nursing. As a nurse for over four decades, it's particularly poignant to me be sharing this day with so many of you graduating in health and social care. Can I congratulate all of you graduating today on your immense achievement, borne out from your commitment and dedication. I expect for many of you this path to success has not always been easy or straightforward and hard fought to get here. So you should all be so proud of yourselves as I know your family and friends and the university staff gathered here today are. Enjoy this moment and treasure it forever. In 1979, I am that old, I was sitting where you are now, having just qualified as a state registered nurse, as it was referred to in those days. Like yourselves, I was full of excitement and anticipation for the journey ahead. That journey has had its twists and turns and not without its challenges, but in truth, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I feel immensely fortunate to have found myself in a career that for a start I was quite good at, having been pretty shocking at school, and one that I loved and found to be rewarding and fulfilling for all these years. I have worked with some wonderful, talented people without whom I would not have achieved what I have. So my greatest thanks to each and every one of them. I have found being a nurse a great privilege to have shared and been present at some of the most difficult, tragic and happiest times of people's lives has been humbling and an honour. The NHS is a very different NHS to the one I started in, but despite all the changes and advances in medical science, ultimately I believe that the fundamental qualities of compassion care and caring are still very relevant, if not more so, in a world where these qualities seem to be more difficult to find. Being in a caring profession is not easy, particularly with the unprecedented challenges that we felt face in health and social care today. But in caring for others, be it humans or animals, because some of you are animal science, 
you will have the wonderful opportunity to demonstrate these qualities and in doing so make a difference to patients and their loved ones every day. All of you here today will take different paths and achieve different goals and aspirations. It doesn't matter how far-reaching or modest these are, each of you in your own way can make a difference. Believe in yourself and your potential, have courage to challenge, but equally listen. Always strive to give your best and know you have done your best. No one can ask any more of you. I wish all of you the very best in your future career and your life's dreams. And finally, it would be amiss of me not to thank my husband Graham and daughter Pippa for their support, understanding, patience and love without whom I would not be here today. So thank you very much, Diok Unfair, and I wish all of you a fantastic day. Thank you. that has been a lot of brief school a key bow sit and press and all for the brief school wedi rather out your dot ear throw maria in filler either been you grab i the verwer brief school glendur rexam a initial of rabbi an inola real air brief school well air and wire high a gallery there been you grab i earn a condition hon yn yr rhestr printiedig sydd wedi ei dosbarthu y bor yma. Let it be known to members of the university and to all who are present that the university has granted authority to Professor Maria Hinfela to admit to their degrees students of Wrexham Glyndwr University who have qualified for degrees according to the regulations of the university. The names of those who may be admitted to their degrees in this congregation are to be seen on the printed lists that have been distributed today. Anhrydeddis is ganghellor. Cyflwynaf i chi am y fyrwyr hyn o Brifysgol Glyndwr Rexam yw graddau, diplomau, a'u tystysgrifau priodol. Honourable Vice-Chancellor, I present you these students from Wrexham Glyndwr University to their respective certificates, diplomas and degrees. Diploma addysg uwch. Diploma of Higher Education. Darlene Comde, Charlene Arnold. <laughs> Diploma i Radedigion. Graduate Diploma Laura Pierce, Claire Roberts, Bethan Watkiss, Tracy White. Lisa Jones, Karis Williams. <laughs> Grath Sylvine and a Kelva the Dai. Foundation degree in arts. Angela Rankin, Sarah Thomas. Graf 
Sylvain Mewn Gwyddoniaeth, Foundation Degree in Science. Matthew Radford, Eleanor Roberts. Baglor and Akelva the Dai, Bachelor of Arts. Kendra Dimas. <clears throat> Baglor Mewn Gwyddoniaeth, Bachelor of Science. Gemma Southall. Baglor and a Kelva the Dai and Bachelor of Arts, Honours. Holly Davis, Molly Jones, Haley Price, Megan Schickel. Anna Subland, Caroline Blair, Emma Brooks, Michelle Chatterton. <laughs> Half Griffiths. Sarah Harrison, Felicity Holloway, Haley Hughes. Claire Jones, Gemma Jones, Sarah Jones, Elizabeth Lloyd. <laughs> Helen Murphy. Jessica Owens, Katie Owens, Rihanna Povey. Philip Pibus, Chelsea Roberts, Catherine Roberts, Yola Rowlands. Gabriella Samedo, Rhiannon Valentine, Kerry Warner, Ket Williams. Tanya Williams, Gillian Considine, Hannah Fox, Caroline Hallett.
Daniel Henstone, Jenna Jones, Tanya Lagra, Samantha Pritchard. Nathan Butler, Owen Butler, Savannah Lloyd, Tracy Owen. <laughs> Emma Walker. Hannah Wellings. Baglor Meun Nursha, Anne Radev, Bachelor of Nursing, Honours. Chloe Barr, Michela Bicky. Tracy Butler. Claire Crook, Annette Day, Gemma Fleet, Sarah Jane Gifford. Zoe Gittins, Carly Hans, Shelley Hewson, Amy Hughes. <laughs> Triayoshin Jaya Surya, Kuranaj Pereira. Sophie Lees, Amy Letley. <laughs> Lana Mustafa, Pretty Entlove, Ita Nayaka, Keras Thomas. Gwyddoniaeth and Rhydedd, Bachelor of Science, Honours. Claire Salter, Imogen Jones, Laura Jones, Sarah Jones. Leanne Jones, Tracy Marshall, Sarah Edwards. <laughs> Stacey Evans, Jenny Jones, Stacey Poston, Kayleigh Shaler.
Don Taylor, Laurie Williams, Teresa Bagnell. Melanie Connor, Vanessa Dos Santos Cruz, George Greenwood, Wendy Griffiths. Stacey Yakovlevs, Helen Johnson, Chloen Jones. <laughs> Rebecca Jones, Agni. Agnieszka Korlakowska, Anne Kibiku. <laughs> Georgia McLeod. Sarah Morris, Julie Owen, Chisara Phillips. Roblin, Holly Wallace. Well, half an hour, Wahod, Er Iskang Hethor, I Roy, E. Hanherchiad. I would now like to invite the Vice-Chancellor to give her address. Chair, graduating students, parents, spouses, friends, colleagues, honorary fellows, members of the Board of Governors, ladies and gentlemen. Borda, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you most warmly to today's award ceremony at Rex and Glendure University on what is a very special day for everyone assembled today, whether you are here in person or watching the live stream. This is the first time since 2019 we have been able to hold a formal graduation ceremony in this format, and I'm so pleased to be standing here today. Gaining a university degree is one of the highest personal achievements. It's a test of stamina, commitment, intellectual rigor, and ability. You should be extremely proud. You've worked hard, and you have embraced the opportunity of a university education. So on behalf of all the staff and the governors of the university, I'd like to say congratulations, and well done. I'm delighted to be the first to shake your hand and to address you all today. It's a real privilege. As the leader of the university, I can truly say that graduation ceremonies are the highlight of the year, symbolizing the values which we stand for. A degree is a valuable a asset. It is yours as of today and will remain yours forever. It marks an investment which you have personally made in your lives, into your future, and that is now being rewarded. There will, of course, be others who have also contributed to your personal achievement. 
This no doubt includes your close family and friends, and they deserve our thanks and your thanks. No matter how much individual talent you have, very few people can thrive unless they have a supportive environment around them. People on the home front who let you get on with your studies and who lent a listening ear when you needed one. And I'm sure many of them are here today. So I think a big thank you is in order and I would like this session to outdo yesterday's session. So what does that look and sound like, a big thank you to all your family and friends here? Let's hear it and see it. Yeah. That was fabulous, and you've definitely, you've outdone yesterday's by, by a mile. Well done, thank you. So our thanks also include all the staff who've helped you and supported you throughout your time here. The last few years have, of course, been dominated by the COVID-19 pandemic for all of us. And this has had a profound impact on the way in which we were able to deliver our programs. The key consideration for all our staff, academics, and the professional services was that we should not compromise on the quality of what we do or the support we offered to our students. Our staff demonstrated the ability to adapt to challenging circumstances and so did our students. We simply got on with it and you simply got on with it. Using remote technology or whatever means possible to get you through the curriculum. Yes, it may, might, might have been a very different student experience, not everybody, what everybody had anticipated, but I feel confident that we and you have emerged stronger than ever, and we're now looking forward, we're looking ahead. We should also thank our students' union. They have brought your voice to every level of the university. As a senior management, we work closely with the SU in our decision-making processes, for instance, about fair distribution of COVID hardship funding, which has been allocated by Welsh Government. That was a heartwarming experience, which proves how resilient we are as a university community. So, back to the subject of how valuable a degree actually is. You will now have it on your CV, so it is a passport to future employment or study in your chosen profession. It is proof that you have acquired relevant knowledge, skills, and competencies. Not least, the ability to stick with it and get to the finish line. You are now an expert in your particular area. Be proud of it. But also, keep building on it. It may be the finish line for now, which closes a chapter, but it should not be the end point. You will keep developing and learning. This can take many forms obviously within work itself, but also further training or research, perhaps. It's especially important that you grow in experience and that you occasionally reflect on how you have grown. It's all too common for people just to plow on regardless and to never stop and think. Believe me, it is worth doing that occasionally. So pause and think sometimes and ask yourselves three simple questions. The first one. Am I doing a good, a good job? The second one, am I stretching myself? And the third one, am I still enjoying it? So let's just dwell on these three questions for a moment. The first one, am I doing a good job? That's about performing to the standards as expected, doing what it says on the tin, not disappointing your colleagues or your customers or people at home. It's what you, what you get out of bed for every day and what you're able to deliver in your chosen role. The second one, am I stretching myself? That's about pushing yourself a little bit and coming out of your comfort zone. Perhaps not every day, you can't always be pushing yourself over the limits, that wouldn't be healthy. But if you never stretch yourself, you lose that curiosity and to keep your brain sharp, it needs new things occasionally. And the third one, perhaps a really crucial one, is the question whether you're still enjoying what you do. Again, we need to be realistic. 
No job is wall-to-wall -wall fun. I can tell you, being the Vice Chancellor of a university isn't a laugh a minute either. But enjoyment is about a sense of fulfillment, that you are contributing something, and that what you are doing makes you proud. Standing here today and meeting so many graduates certainly makes me proud about my role. And so does a walk around a busy campus, seeing all our staff and students using our fabulous facilities. So remember the three questions. Am I doing a good job? Am I stretching myself? Am I still enjoying it? And if you're not really happy in your own mind with, with the answers that, that you get to those questions, perhaps it's time for a chat with a few people and look for a change. But whatever you decide to do, your degree will always stand you in good stead. I'll now move on to a different topic. What's been happening at the university? It's been a busy time. In fact, as it's three years since the last formal graduation ceremony pre-pandemic in this auditorium, there's so much to catch up upon that my speech will be three times longer. No, it won't, I promise you, don't worry. So what are the key developments I'd like to share with you today? I have to start with how proud we are of the fantastic results again this year in the National Student Survey. Thank you for your support in responding to the survey. We had more than three quarters of our final year undergraduate students who were who are invited to, to participate under the National Student Survey system. About three quarters took part. That's a really good response rate, higher than most other universities. You gave us very good scores on the questions around the quality of teaching on your program and the feedback that your lecturers have provided on your assessments. So we're delighted and really proud to be consistently, again, in the top 10 across all 130 UK universities for teaching quality. The biggest news that we received in the past year was that we had been successful in our bid for a 10-year contract with Welsh Government to deliver a, a wide range of allied health and nursing programmes for the whole of North Wales. With brand new facilities at our campuses here in Wrexham and in St Asaph, we will be training the future nurses, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, paramedics, dietitians, operating department practitioners and speech and language therapists. And this, of course, will benefit not only the whole of North Wales, but also across the border into Cheshire and Shropshire, where we have fantastic links with the health system across many providers. So this is a huge development, not only for the university, but also for the region. Offering exciting career opportunities for our students and helping to improve health outcomes for our local communities. It's only fitting that our university won this new contract in the year that Wrexham was also awarded city status. We are already finding that this is a positive development for the university. It helps to put us on the map. It will help to put you and your qualifications also on the map very firmly. And we publicly welcomed uh, this development when it arrived. We've also made really good progress with recognition of our research as part of the independent review which takes place across the entire university sector every few, few years. In the Faculty of Arts, Science and Technology, it was particularly the engineering field which was rated as world leading for some of the work it does in optics and composites. Our Faculty of Social and Life Sciences did particularly well in the field of social work and social policy, with our criminal justice group also judged to be world leading. These successes and the growth in our research activities across all our subject areas have given us the confidence to apply for research degree awarding powers in our own right. Our submission went to Privy Council over the summer, giving evidence of how we meet the criteria. We await further news about the external review next year. We've also expanded our range of postgraduate taught programmes. There are postgraduate pathways in business, computing, the arts, in post-reg nursing, and many, many more. So you're very welcome to return and to join us on these programs at any point in the future. Several hundred international students are now also attending these master's degree programs here in Wrexham, having traveled from India, Africa, as well as Western Europe, and many of them graduated at the sessions yesterday. 
On top of that, we have 3,000 students with partner colleges spread around the world. For instance, in Hong Kong, Singapore, China, and the Middle East. And we also have around 1,000 students on purely online MBA and MSc programs. So we're spreading our wings. The university is expanding. We've grown. We now have around 10,000 enrollments across all these various modes of provision in the UK and abroad. So that makes your qualification truly global. You are part of a global community of alumni of Wrexham Glyndor University. We haven't stopped investing as we roll out our 80 million pound Campus 2025 master plan. We've delivered refurbishments and upgrades across all our campuses. These projects have added state-of-the-art specialist facilities, such as the healthcare simulation suites, new science labs, and a moot room. Teaching spaces have benefited from renovation, new furniture, and new digital technologies, with an eye to reducing our carbon footprint to make sure that what we do is sustainable. There are welcoming new social spaces across all our campuses, proving popular with students and staff alike. And the best thing of all, students and staff are back in great numbers across all our campuses, and that is so good to see. That's what we're doing it for. There's much more to come with planned new buildings for engineering, for our expanding health innovation quarter, and also for the students' union. I've always found it incredibly rewarding to, su to see my graduates do well. At Wrexham Ludwig University, we invite alumni to stay in touch and tell us how you are getting on. We have WGU Connect, and we also have our careers and employability service represented here today in the marquee. Later on, you'll be able to meet with them. They will remain available to you and will be there to help you whenever you need it. And you can also help us. The Independent National Graduate Outcomes Survey for the UK will contact you in about a year's time. They gather information from graduates 15 months after they have completed their studies. I cannot stress enough how important it is for you, for our future students, and for us as a university, for you to participate in this survey. So we build an accurate picture of the impact and the outcomes which our academic programs have. We care about this, and we will act on any lessons learned. So please cooperate with the Graduate Outcomes UK survey when you are approached by that organization. It is independent. We'll be truly grateful. So finally, to round off, I wish you every success in the future. And once again, there's nothing more rewarding than discovering what impact a university education can have on your lives. But today is about enjoying the moment, so make sure you do that. You deserve it. And for the future, I wish you pop look Good luck, good health, and happiness. Joel van Vauer, thank you. Andra Dedis, Iskang Heshor. Kavluinav, Ichi, and Mavurwir Hen, or Brivaskol, Glindur, Rexam. Iw graddau, diplomau a'i tystysgrifau priodol ac i ddathlu gwobrau myfyrwyr a graddau o Brifysgol Caer. Honourable Vice-Chancellor, I present you these students from Wrexham Glyndwr University to their respective certificates, diplomas and degrees and to celebrate the awards of students with degrees from the University of Chester. Baglor Mewn Gwyddoniaeth and Rhydedd, Bachelor of Science, Honours. Hannah Ainsley, Rebecca Ball, Aisling Bates, Rowena Bircham. Chiati, 
Philip Cousins, Lindsay Davies, Harriet Evans. Philippa Fisher, Lauren Fraorley, Catherine Hardiman, Kate Harding. <laughs> Kaylee Homer. Shania Hopley, Shan Hughes, Melanie Illman. <laughs> Danielle Jefferson. Jennifer Jones, Nia Jones, Vicky Jones. <laughs> Shan Lewis. Ang Harrod Floyd, Wendy May, Michelle Moffat. <laughs> Alexandra Parry, Sarah Roberts. Gemma Robinson. <laughs> Emma Sheridan, Leah Williams, Rebecca Williams. Brian Severa Fonalosa, Michael Michelle Colohan, Ashley Davis, Ewan Davis. John Evans, Anne-Marie Farrell, Yasmin Griffiths. <laughs> Catherine Hopwood, Daniel Jones, Louise Michael, Annalise Neal. <laughs> Sutton Roberts, Elner Vaughan, Mark Waters, Deborah Watts. <laughs> Claire.
Claire Andrade, Olga Bakutaiti, Joanne Bennington, Joanne Burke. Chloe Gallagher, Olivia Redway, Amy Senor, Laura Everill. Diploma Uchradedig, Postgraduate Diploma. Rebecca Baldwin, Manon Clark, Rachel Crick, Anne Marie Grundy. Robin Hulson, <laughs> Bethan Turner, Rihanna Walton. <laughs> Lauren Williams, Tracy Axon, Jessica Edwards, Annist Humphreys, Courtney Lee Hughes. Gemma Lewis-Smith, Gra Grace Montgomery, Catherine Parsons, Elizabeth Pritchard. Naomi Riley, Jade Stewart, Leanne Owen. <laughs> Meister Amchwil. Master of Research. Maxine Marcus. <laughs> Maester Mewn Gwyddoniaeth. Master of Science. Amy Charnock, Kerry Hooten, Joe Lewis. Julie Long, Lynn Partington, Amanda Price, Tilary Thirsk. Kimberly Cable, Jody Challoner, 
Anghara Gwilym, Sophie Peake. Sarah Ravenhill, Paula Copeland Stubbings, Sophie Richards, Teresa Davies. Michelle Kirkham, Claire Royce, Claire Spencer, Catherine White. <laughs> Rian Lappin. Stuart Tunnicliffe, Yolita Burbett, Bethan Coates. <laughs> Jane Edwards, Jade Owens, Sophia Pierce, Marlon Pierce. Amanda Thomas, Gwen Llian Williams. Doithir Mewn Athroniaeth, Tatel a Thesis. Roll by your barquer newydd a chyffredin, I kid berthanas a mesirai de llianai clinical, mewn cleifion sy'n derbyn ymyriadau llawfyddygol ar gyfer anwylderau anfalain a malain y brostad. Doctor of Philosophy, thesis title, The Role of Routine and Novel Biomarkers and Their Correlation with Clinical Outcome Measures in Patients Undergoing Surgical Interventions for Benign and malignant disorders of the prostate. Nana Ya Sniper. Please bear with me while I find the page. <laughs> yeah, no. Yes. So we now come to the most formal part of the ceremony, which is the point at which we confer the degrees on you officially and you become graduates. At some of the universities, this might be done in Latin, it, it can obviously be done in English. And today, because we are in Wales, we're going to do it in Welsh, if that is okay with you. Um, so what we will do is, um, the orator is going to ask me to confer um, the degrees on, and all their privileges on, on all of you. 
And she will then also ask me the same again for those who are being conferred their degrees in absentia. So to do, to do this properly, could I please ask the graduates to stand, all of you. you. Anhradedis Iskanghelor, Kamaraduyav i Chiverbin Mavruir Hani, Yuguabrai, Aki Hos Vrintiair Gravai Hen. Twee our dear daughter Briefeskol, a um the red with me, Derbaniav, Huir Gobrai, Aki Hof Vrintiair Gobrai Hin. Anhradedis Iskanghelor. Camaraduya vi chiderbin en e hapsen olded, a mavruir hania enuid en hranai priodol raglen, iu guobrai, aki hos vrintiair gravai hen. Twi our dear daughter Briviscol a umlia veruidi me, debenia a hrai an odweed en e hapsen olded, yo guobrai aki hos vrintiair guobrai hen. That's it, you've got your degrees. Congratulations again. Nawr ofyn i gadeirydd bwrdd y Llywodraethwyr i gau y cynulliad y bore yma. I would now like to invite the Chair of the Board of Governors to close the congregations. Bonifigion a Bonifigesai, ladies and gentlemen, the granting of an academic award brings with it privileges and responsibilities. Through your hard work and diligence, you have joined a distinguished society of scholars. And I'd like to my, ask, add my personal congratulations to those of the Vice-Chancellor and the University. Well done. And well done and a thank you to all the staff who have supported you as well. Be proud, be confident, be the change you want to see in the world. In thanking you and adding my congratulations, I formally close the congregations of Wrexham Glyndwr University and the University of Chester. Klongavak Yadai Ebaub. Congratulations to all. Well, gyfeillion dyna ddiwedd y ceremoni am y bore yma, cynhelu'r cynulliad nesaf prifysgol Glyndwr Wrexham y prynhawn yma. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this morning's graduation ceremony. The next congregation of Wrexham Glyndwr University will be held this afternoon. Gai ofyn i chi gyd i sefyll ac aros ar eich traed, hyd nesur o'r ymdaith gan gynnwys y graddedigion newydd May I ask you all to stand and remain standing until the procession, including the new graduates, has left the hall. Diolch yn fawr iawn chi. <laughs>